word problems with positive and negative integers. Crossing the zero line in Alex. This is a short summary of both kinds of problem, both the rises up and or is that much more, as well as the how much higher or how much lower problem comparison ones. In Alex, there's a set of word problems with a chart like this and two questions requiring different strategies and operations. Here's how to get those problems right. First, set up the problem. Addition. That's some amount more or some amount higher. It's asking for the whole. Or subtraction. These ask how much lower or higher or less or more. It's comparing two things. If it's subtraction, make the lower number last and then change it to adding the opposite. Then solve that addition problem. Same sign, add and keep. Different sign, subtract. Keep the sign the bigger number, then you'll be exact. Here's an example. A hill rises up 75 feet from down in the valley. Rises up means addition. Negative 50 plus 75 or 75 plus negative 50. So you're going to subtract even though it's an addition problem. There are different signs so you subtract. The answer is 25. See? It just rose up. Here's a second example. The hill only rises up 25 feet from down in the valley. It's still addition, but this time it's negative 50 plus 25, or 25 plus negative 50. And we're still going to subtract to solve it, because they're different signs. The negative absolute value is bigger, though, so the answer is negative 25. See, we went up 25, we're still below zero. Here's the second kind of problem, comparing amounts when one or both are negative. How much higher is my house than down in the valley? How much higher compares, so it's subtraction, 50 minus negative 50. But when we change to adding the opposite, it's 50 plus positive 50. You've always got to change two things to balance, and that means you're going to add to solve the problem. To find the distance, you need to get to zero and then get down into the negative territory. You need to add the distances. What if you don't have to cross the line? If they're both negative, they're not as different. Here's an example. How much lower is deep in the cave than down in the valley? That would be negative 50 minus negative 100. Put the lower number last. When we change subtracting negative to adding positive, we get negative 50 plus 100. Now the signs are different. 100 minus 50 is 50. They're 50 feet apart. Now the answer to how much lower or how much higher questions will always be positive because distances are always positive. Even if you're going in the negative direction, you're still moving. By saying 50 feet lower, you've told me the direction is negative. So for all of them, you might just want to draw a number line. First, set up the problem as addition or subtraction, knowing that might not be what you do to the numbers in the end to get your answer. If it's how much lower or how much less, put the low number last in the problem. If it's subtraction, change it to adding the opposite. Be sure to change two things. And finally, follow those addition rules. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number, then you'll be exact. Keep up the good work. And there are more detailed videos about each kind of problems and other videos about positive and negative numbers. The links are at www.resourceroom.net slash alexhelp. And there's the legal stuff. Yes, you can copy this. You can share it. Just say where you got it from.